Hi guys, Rosie with the Cackling Moon. This is going to be another client's full moon reading. Um, for this particular client, I was focusing on um, the energies that I was feeling for this particular person. Um, and I was really feeling like a, a sensual vampire energy. It was weird. It was like a very like a sexual sensual time um so because of that the wisdom of the house of night oracle came to mind and um i'm gonna use this deck for your reading i just really feel called to this one for you um i also pulled madame and dora's fortune cards um i feel like these are very straightforward and to the point um and then also i feel like the um Italia tarot is going to be really good for you. It's more of a vintage feel of a tarot deck. Um, and then I was really called to pull like obviously the red jasper crystal heart because I was really, I'm really feeling like sexy vibes for you. So um, I feel like this one would be really good. And then I got moonstones here. So I have black moonstone and I have green moonstone. Um because of the full moon but yeah I was really feeling like vampire like mystical sexy vibes <laughs> and I know that sounds kind of funny but um you know sometimes like intuition just works like that so that is what I'm gonna do for you so if you don't mind I am going to focus on shuffling and then we will get started um just so you know, full moons are good for manifesting. This is a time to take action um, towards something you want. So we are going to look in and see what the vibe is and what you should be focusing on for the next two weeks. Lastly, the tarot. wanted to come out okay so let's see what the overall vibe is for you my love we have choices the fledgling ooh, vision the oracle seek wisdom and guidance from elders which is what you're doing right now. You're seeking wisdom and guidance from a reader. The moon. <laughs> you will be guided through darkness. And then the tarot. This one wanted to pop out. This was the, um, oh, this is the page of cups. It's hard to see what it is because it's not in English. <laughs> so we have the Page of Cups. We have the two, three, four, five, six, the Seven of Wands, and the Eight, Nine, one, Four, Five, Six, Seven, Eight. The Eight of Wands. I apologize. It's it's hard to um. It doesn't say what it is in English, so. <laughs> 
and the Two of Swords. So you definitely have a big decision coming up for you, my love. Um, now this could be in terms of perhaps some things on your mind um, or something will pop up on your mind in the next two weeks um, where you're going to be faced with a decision. The main card that popped up was Choices. Um, this is Choices and, you know, I love that it's you have the black and the white, the darkness and the light, you know, the positive and the negative, weighing, outweighing your choices, maybe the pros and cons of a situation. Either way, you are going to be faced with a decision to make. <clears throat> That's coming up with the two of swords. <clears throat> this could be two ideas, two pathways, two people. Um, but the decision is going to be yours to make. And within the next two weeks, I would highly suggest that you do your best to come up with a solution for that. Um, because full moon energy is really good for coming up with the answers, for taking action, for being active in what it is you want to do. Um, the reason why saying with the oracle where you need to seek wisdom and guidance, you wouldn't, basically you're, you, you felt called to get this reading because spirit wants you to know that there is going to be a decision that you need to make. And I'm also seeing the role that in order for you to make that decision, it's going to call for you to, because this is the vision card, it is going to call for you to trust your intuition, to trust your higher self. And also with the fledgling, it's taking chances. Fledgling is the same as the fool card in the tarot. Um, so the fool energy is all about taking chances, taking risks. You're, you're doing things without really thinking about it. You just got to take action. And that is perfect energy. <clears throat> Excuse me. That is perfect energy, this full moon, because the full moon is all about taking action. This is not a time for you to procrastinate. This is actually a time for you to make that big decision. So if there is something that you've been kind of flip-flopping around, that you've been trying to figure out, um, the cards are definitely revealing that. And that's what's going to pop up this full moon for you. So anytime now, between now and the next two weeks. Um, now you have the, um, seven and the eight of wands popping up here. And this is a lot of obstacles. Okay. This is a lot of, um, interruptions. This is a lot of people either demanding your attention or a lot of things are going to be coming up to try to get you to maybe deter you from your path and from your initial goal okay so a lot of little obstacles that i'm seeing taking place in the next two weeks this could be you know little minor delays this could be people literally trying to take up your time when you need to be focusing on other things and then we have the page of cups which is a messenger um, so I feel like, you know, you're going to be receiving, you're receiving the message here from spirit, but I also feel like this is going to be most likely an individual that you're either deciding between. Maybe you're going to have a conversation, a heart to heart because it is a cups suit. So this might be a heart to heart you're going to have with someone, um, revealing your true feelings, revealing your truth. Um, but the way that you should approach this situation Definitely go in it full force. Don't overthink it. Don't hesitate. Go dive right in. Manifest courage. Manifest motivation and willpower to do it. Um, because I feel like this is something that's been, you've been kind of like juggling for a while and it's finally time that you take action and do something about it. Um, so I feel like you needed this message. I feel like that was why you felt called to get the full moon reading because you really needed it. Um, I feel like spirit is trying to get your attention. I love that the full moon's in the background here. Um, they want you to see things. They want you to trust what you're feeling and what you're experiencing. You're very intuitive and you need to pay more attention to that. Um, and sometimes making choices isn't easy because you don't want to, you don't want to disappoint people. You don't want to step on people's toes, you know, but sometimes you got to make a decision because it's, it's only going to cause you more grief or stress than you need to. Um, so I do feel like this next two weeks is all about making a choice, finally making a decision, having perhaps a conversation with someone, um, and also dealing with some, 
minor disruptions and conquering them. Don't let these things um, keep you from doing the main goal, okay? So you have quite a busy week, two weeks ahead of you, my love. Um, but I feel like no matter what, you're gonna be, you're gonna get through this moment. You're gonna get through this okay. Um, if you have any other additional questions for me with the reading, reach out to me and message. Um, I will be more than happy to answer as best as I can. Thank you so much for allowing me to read for you. And if anyone wants a full moon reading, please click the link below and check me out. Bye guys.